Welcome back to the doctor's office. Today, we're gonna to go over the components and operation of an externally equalized thermal expansion valve. This valve has one opening force, two closing forces. Opening force P1 is going to be equal to closing force P2 plus closing force P3, and it's gonna to operate to maintain constant system superheat. P1, opening force, there's a refrigerant charge in the power head, the sensing bulb gets attached to the outlet of an evaporator. As that evaporator temperature increases, the pressure in here is going to increase. The diaphragm in the power head is going to expand and push against the push rod in the valve that will allow high pressure liquid refrigerant to enter the valve and leave as low pressure liquid and vapor. Closing force P2, the equalization line from the evaporator is going to come out on this little hole here and it's gonna act as a closing force pushing against the diaphragm of the power head. Closing force P3 is the superheat spring located there and that's gonna push against the push rod in the valve to act as another closing force. So these three forces are gonna be acting to have this push rod slide back and forth to meter different amounts of refrigerant to maintain constant system superheat. Hope you learned a thing or two. Cheers, everybody.